Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week. This is the last What I Eat in a Week before I go to LA. I'm so excited for this trip because it is my first work trip since COVID happening and it's kind of fitting because my last work trip since COVID happening was also LA. I don't know if you guys remember, but right before COVID changed our lives, I was in LA for Expo West. Expo West is a like natural foods expo that happens once a year in California. I had been to Expo East several times beforehand, which is the same thing except for like on the East Coast and smaller. Um, so I was really excited to go to Expo West because I heard it was much bigger than Expo East. And my boyfriend and I had just landed in California. We checked into our hotel. We were going over like the vendors we were gonna visit the next day, et cetera, et cetera. And then we got an email that said, sorry guys, Expo West tomorrow is not happening. Um, everything's shut down. We could not fly back home because I felt like half of LA was trying to fly back out of LA at the time. Um, so we were just stuck in California for a week and honestly we had a great time. It was like a good last hurrah before quarantine because we had no idea what was coming to us. We had no idea. And so the fact that our first work trip in over a year is back to the same place is like really fitting. I'm gonna be shooting some content over there but I'm also trying to finish up what's in our fridge for the next couple days. Also, I finally have a car! I finally have a car! Uh, so I'm not gonna be staying with my parents anymore. That's gonna be fantastic, Ugh, amazing, great for my schedule, great for my eating, just, oh, amazing, fantastic. Anyway, this intro is all over the place. Let's go to our usual hi, like I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist, I'm just a random foodie girl and this is what I eat, trying to stay on a budget because rent and a car is expensive. Uh, I drink a coffee every morning, I also take omegas and B12, and I already talked too much, so let's hop straight into the video. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I'm interested in coming to check out a, a green Honda. Um, I was just wondering if it was still in stock before I came over because it's a long drive for me. All right, bear with me one moment. Let me check availability for you, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Like, can I come look at the car or not? Am I going to be stranded at my parents' house for another week or not? <sighs> I had a mental breakdown yesterday by the day. I was crying. Yeah, thanks for holding. It's still available as of now. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so I was supposed to start this What I Eat in a Week yesterday, but instead I like cried for several hours and ate pizza and I'm like, I'm not putting that on YouTube. So we're starting it today. Um, the reason for my tears is because of my whole car situation and today we're gonna try to fix my car situation by purchasing a car from New Jersey so I have my little brother Daniel here we found a car that like may fit my needs and my budget <laughs> doesn't really fit my budget I'm borrowing money but whatever let's not think about that but it's in New Jersey and we're rushing over there to see if we could snipe it first at least check it out see if I really want it which hopefully I do and then my struggles of car things are over but on the way I wanted to get something quick to eat so I went to Starbucks and I grabbed a bagel right here I got a bagel it's an everything bagel and I got some avocado and I got a knife and then I'm gonna probably very politely ask Daniel to make me a bagel while I'm driving there so um, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's my breakfast. I already had a coffee this morning. I got Daniel uh, two shots of espresso over ice with soy So that's what he's having and uh, I know it's like, you know time delayed because this already happened by the time you watch this But like wish me luck into the past anyway. See you later. Okay. I'm at the car dealership. I drove the car. I Am about to purchase said car. I'll show it to you later, but um, I got really hungry So I'm eating this builder bar it's a chocolate peanut butter flavor, and I have like nervous flip flops in my stomach because I'm about to spend all my money in one place, which is something I've never done before. So, keep you updated. I officially own a car again. I own a car. We'll do a more in depth little tour of the car later, but um, ta da! Hey guys, I'm back with my parents. Um, I'm eating some like baked soup zucchini oatmeal um it's cold it's like an experiment i did i'm not quite sure if i like it but i'm gonna eat it whatever and then once i get the recipe good i'll share it with you guys a different day uh, but i'm eating this and i'm doing some editing because i'm kind of behind on some work but um 
I'll let you know what I eat next. Goodbye. Is this the most nutritious pre-workout I've ever eaten? No. But you would be just as excited if someone sent you vegan Kit Kats in the mail. You would. So I shared this vegan Kit Kat with my brother. And this is my pre-workout. I know I haven't eaten very well today. Story of my life the past few weeks. However, um, I am going to try to get back from the gym a little bit early today so I can go to the grocery store and make a proper meal for dinner. I just got back from the gym and look, I made a balanced meal. We got a Persian pickle, the best kind, quinoa, chipotle bitchin' sauce, some tofurkey lightly seasoned chicken, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Have I eaten the same meal or a variation of it like for the past three weeks? Yes. but. Y'all know I've been in a pickle, but now that I have a car again, my life can hopefully start going back to normal. So I'm having this. I'm also having a LaCroix, and then I'm gonna shower, finish a video that I have to edit, and then knock out. It's late. Hello, good morning. Guess who got to work on time this morning? Okay, a little bit late, but I had a car, and I wasn't relying on my mom for a ride, and that was fantastic. Um, I'm having my breakfast, let me show it to you. So on one side, we have baked zucchini oatmeal. It's like zucchini bread, but oatmeal style. And then on the other side, we have a peach. So, oh, I don't have any utensils, I have to go get. But anyway, zucchini oatmeal and a peach, that's my breakfast, I'll see you later. Okay, so I had to testify for like a court case. It has nothing to do with me, whatever. It's not that important. Um, but I was so hungry. I was at work um, and I found half an avocado and half of a stale roll. So I smushed them together and I ate that right before my Zoom court meeting. It was a Zoom court meeting. Super interesting. Anyway, so I'll show you right here the really sad sandwich I made with avocado and bread only. Anyway, um, and now I'm home. And I made myself a banana and peanut butter because I want to head to the gym soon, but I wanted something really fast and like carby to eat before I go to the gym. So I'm eating this while like I organize some stuff and my phone charges. Got back from the gym. I showered. I heated up uh, the meal prep that I made yesterday. Quinoa, tofurkey, lightly seasoned chicken, cucumbers, tomatoes, pickles, chipotle bitchin' sauce, blah, blah, blah. I have to go see my grandpa in the hospital tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna try to meal prep something today that could be eaten cold because I'm probably gonna be out of the house a lot today Tomorrow probably gonna be out of the house a lot tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna eat this do some work do some cleaning and then I'll show you what I meal prep Spoiler alert. It's probably gonna be pasta salad. Hey guys, so I'm doing some meal prep. Uh, I'm making pasta salad. For that pasta salad, I bought some Italian dressing I was gonna chop up some carrots and broccoli really finely, but I decided to go really lazy, not really lazy, I just don't have a lot of time. I decided to go really conveniently and just grab broccoli slaw. Um, there is a little bit of carrot in here, but it's mostly broccoli, but whatever, it works. And then for dinner, at the moment I'm, ha I'm craving a weird dinner, roll with me. At the moment I'm having one of these ices, it's lemon flavored, uh, and then I'm gonna have a salad with just this bag of mixed greens, some white beans, and some ranch. Um, I made a zucchini loaf, and I'm putting that in the oven, so that's going in right now. And I might also meal prep some bean quinoa, chipotle bitchin' sauce type things. I'll keep you updated. Update, we've made three servings of pasta salad. It looks like this. I'm so tempted to do the slaw thing again in the future. It's just so hella convenient. I've meal prepped two other meals. We got some quinoa, beans. This one has a little bit of tofurkey because it was leftover. Some leftover broccoli slaw, tomatoes. And then here's my nighttime salad. It's just those greens, white beans, ranch. Ta-da! Hey guys, good morning. Uh, let me show you my breakfast. So we have the zucchini baked oats that I made yesterday. I just popped that in the microwave for a few minutes and heated it up. And then I have a peach. I haven't had like a fantastic peach yet this year, but it smells, it smells mediocre. Um, and then I had a uh, iced coffee from Starbucks this morning. It was a cold brew with a splash of soy milk. I will catch you later. I just got back home and I opened up one of the pasta salads I made yesterday. It's just the protein pasta with the broccoli slaw, some tofurkey lightly seasoned chicken, and Italian dressing. Hey yeah, I'm eating salad. It's literally just greens, like a bag of greens with like some shredded carrots in it. 
um, with Trader Joe's Green Goddess dressing. I was able to go to Trader Joe's recently and I grabbed my favorite dressing ever. Uh, and I'm, I'm eating this while I wait for my ramen to cook. My ramen is done. Ooh, hot. All right, I'm not going to show you the bowl because I don't want to burn my hand. But having some ramen. And now I'm just going to go do some editing. I'm feeling snacky for dinner. I don't feel like having a whole meal. So for dinner, I'm going to be having this protein bar from Cliff. It's the white chocolate macadamia nut flavor. And this magic mango smoothie from Koya. Good night. So here's my lunch. We have that broccoli slaw from earlier, some white beans and tofurkey lightly seasoned chicken, tomatoes, quinoa, and chipotle bitchin sauce. What? What? I just woke up from a nap that I napped too long on. I was supposed to nap for 20 minutes and it turned into like over an hour, whatever. I'm eating pre-workout and my pre-workout is gonna be this zucchini oatmeal. And if you need a reminder, it's oatmeal, zucchini, chia seeds, almond milk, and some other things. Cheers. All right, so we're having dinner. I made Roberto and I Gardein Ultimate Burgers, one for him and one for me. Um, and we have, what kind of cheese is this again? Follow Your Heart. Follow Your Heart American Cheese, some mayo. Oh, I forgot the pickles! Oh my god! All right, let me show you y'all something something that I do to save money. Let me show you. So whenever I get pickles, and I, we finish the pickles, I use the pickle liquid to make extra pickles with like vegetables we have laying around. So this time specifically, I used cucumbers, but I've also put like carrots and onions in this shit before, and then free pickles. So I'll put pickles on them. And we're having that for dinner. Bye. All right, so for dessert, uh, I have this like s'mores bar from Beatnik. I think it's like a brownie with, I don't know what this is. I don't know what's on it. Oh, it's soft. Okay, so it's like graham cracker crust with like chocolatey brownie stuff and marshmallows on top. And Roberto and I are gonna share it. Good night. It's breakfast and I'm having a piece, well, two piece, two piece of toast with a slice of tomato on each piece and some nutritional yeast and stuff. I've never done this before, but I can't imagine it would taste bad. I'm also getting ready to shoot two videos and then go hang out with a friend for dinner. So today's gonna be very busy and I'm being kind of slow. Like I'm, I'm taking it unreasonably slow today considering how busy it is. I don't know why. I really haven't been feeling like eating today. Uh, all I've eaten is half a cookie. Like, uh, you know those beatnik sweets that we got yesterday? Well, I had gotten that s'mores bar, which by the way was too chocolatey. I didn't really like it. Um, but I also got a couple chocolate chip cookies that we didn't eat, and I had half a chocolate chip cookie while I was doing dishes. Probably should eat a real meal, but I don't feel like it. And I'm going out to dinner with a friend later, but I know I'm gonna get hungry before that. I'm just, eh, I'm just busy. I don't want to think about eating right now. For dinner, I went to Planta out to eat with my friend Sabs. Say hi, Sabs. Planta is uh, one of my new favorite places. We got fried dumplings. This, I forget the name of this thing all the time, but it's like a super miso-y avocado rice crispy thing. We also got my favorite dish there, which is the bang bang broccoli. If you go, this is like the top dish I recommend. And then these curry noodles, which were okay. The dessert they had was a brownie with some ice cream and chocolate sauce on top. A delicious meal. Good morning, I'm at my parents' house and I made myself a like big flatbread avocado toast uh, before I start working on the camper. So flatbread, avocado, tomatoes, salt, pepper, sauerkraut, and I'm gonna eat this and get straight to work. Okay, so we've been working for uh, many hours. It's very hot outside. I just poured myself a ton of watermelon and I'm eating it. Okay, so I have like a ooh, hot, 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 oh, hot lunch. This is like <laughs> beans, quinoa, tomatoes, broccoli slaw, and chipotle bitchin sauce. This is what I'm having for lunch. Um, not that interesting. I will talk to you later. 
Okay, I ended up not recording because I was having a wonderful conversation with my mother and I didn't want to like leave and get my camera and record my food. Uh, but I had a piece of that zucchini oatmeal bake thing that I've been eating, except for I put some peanut butter and strawberry jam on top. So I ate that. I put away a bunch of my camper stuff. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm heading to my apartment. Roberto also got me a little burger and fries. And he got himself some noodles. We technically ordered from an Asian spot, but I wasn't in the mood for Asian, so I got a burger like a weirdo. Good night. This morning I was feeling like a main character energy or something, so I decided to do my editing in a cafe. I went to a place called Brightside for the first time where I got a mushroom toast with some beet hummus on the side. Honestly, this was kind of expensive. It was like $15, but it was so, so good. Nice for a treat. And I also had a seltzer. I'm back home um, doing more work. You know, you know, that's all I do. That's all I do. Um, and I'm eating some pasta salad. This is protein pasta with a broccoli slaw, some tofurkey lightly seasoned chicken, and Italian dressing. Here's the really, 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 really lazy meal prep I'm about to do. I know this is curry and this is like stir fry fried rice, but I think it'll work. So I'm just going to cook up this veggie fried rice from Trader Joe's, add some extra vegetables and pop this in, add a few extra seasonings and I'll let you know if it turns out good. And I just ate a single nugget, just, just one nugget. Oh, and a couple of Sour Patch Kids, that too. So this turned out good, however, I would not buy those curry bites again. They're so sweet. It was really off-putting until I put like a lot of sriracha and sesame oil and stuff in this. So don't really like like those nuggets, those curry nuggets, but altogether this turned out good. But I don't want to eat it yet. I want to wait till Roberto comes home. Um, but I'm hungry. I forgot I had some... Big zucchini oatmeal stuff in here. So I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave and eat while I do dishes. Hello, so uh, I just shot a review of this. No, not this one, not this one. This non-alcoholic mixer. I mixed it with some sparkling water for a little late night drink and I'm drinking it. I also ate some like, <sighs> there's these chips I don't like, but I was craving something salty. They're from Trader Joe's. They are pa um, not pasta, like lentil and potato curly cues. Doesn't it look like they would taste good? They look so good. They're not that good. And when you first open the bag, it kind of smells like a bar and it's really weird. Anyway, so I ate some of these um, and then I'm drinking some of that. And I think that's it for tonight. Roberto ate the fried rice stuff that I made. He said it was good. And I think I'll bring my portion to work tomorrow for breakfast. Good night. That is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And if you'd like to follow me on Patreon, where I upload these videos early, slash give you access to my Finsta, where you get to stay up to date with my life, like for real, for real, then my Patreon is down below. Um, but that is all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed, got some meal ideas, or were just entertained. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, and Shanta. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.